Right, hello everybody, this is DVD and Film Bloke and it's the one year anniversary and it's the two year anniversary of the YouTube channel being well, set up I suppose and I have achieved absolutely nothing with it Oh well, anyway, I'm going to do my updated film collection the Doctor Collection will be coming soon but surprisingly it hasn't grown as much since you know the last time I've done a complete in-depth collection um, but the film collection, you know, since I've bought Blue Rays and I've turned 18 and things, you know, it's grown a flipping lot. That, see, it originally, the bottom drawer, it was barely filled originally. Now it's overflowed. So, well, <laughs> let's just get started. If I'll just list everything and if, and if I have something to say about it, then I will say it. But otherwise, let's get going. Okay, so we'll get the two big box sets out of the way. Batman the Complete TV Series, that's the 1960s one, and Bond 50, which is Bond Doctor No through Quantum of Solace, the worst one, I have been. Anyway, let's get on to the main stuff. So we've got The Adventures of Rocky Bronze Across the Ape Dimension. I got this one in an Arrow video sale, the one they had last year. They're, they're doing one this year now, so. So next update you'll be seeing a few arrow releases. Airplane. Airplane 2. There goes my remote. Classic film that. <laughs> Back to the Future Trilogy. Batman the Motion Picture Anthology. I did have this on DVD, but the DVD set was bloody awful. The mastering's awful and it had he cut versions of Batman Returns of Batman Forever. This one got this one in the differences night and day. Batman the movie, that's the 60s one. Beetlejuice. Big Hero 6. Big Trouble in Little China. I also have that one on DVD as well. But I picked up the Blu ray. Move on to the drawers. Blade Runner, the final cut. The Blues Brothers. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Skyfall and Spectre. Bottom, the complete the complete collection. Blake TV, so you don't know. Fawn Identity. Fawn Supremacy. Born Ultimate Maiden, Born Legacy, and Jason Bourne. I, I've only seen the first two Bourne films, I've not seen any of the others, hardly enough. I've had them for years, but I still haven't got around to watching them yet. So, later on, I'm going to try and um, marathon and get through more. Burbs, Caddy Shack, Child's Play, avoid this particular DVD at all costs. Because it's non anamorphic widescreen, and if you want to learn what that means, then look it up. But they have put out a Blu ray set with all sort of like the tricky films, so I might get that. And also, there's a spelling error right there. It says original. It's supposed to say original. It says original. MGM might expect better. Child's Play 2. Absolutely love that cover. Clerks. It's strangely fitting that I watched, we recently we watched this film on um, May the 4th and they actually make a reference to Star Wars in it about how the stockbrokers would be, about how you know the stock people were, you know, might, were casualties of when they blew up the second Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Anyway, Close Encounters, I need to rewatch watch this film because to be honest when I first watched it I thought you know, this isn't really as good as people say it is. I mean, the visual effects are amazing, but I just... It's one of those songs, you know, where you put it on, you think, Oh, that was fun, and then forget about it, and then move on. Corpse Bride, not as good as that one for Christmas, but still pretty good. The Critters Collection. Oh. 
curdled very very interesting movie not 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 a brilliant film not even a very good film but <laughs> but interesting yeah like if you're into like your cult stuff and especially if you're into like tarantino that's definitely one to watch dark crystal deadpool can't wait for the sequel Ugh. Die Hard Legacy Collection. Unfortunately, this version has the cut version of Die Hard 3, where they basically removed much of the swearing. But I believe they they did reissue it on DVD actually, with um, all the swearing put back in. But they ham but they idiotically didn't include it in this. And I mean, it's on Blu-ray now, so yeah. Dumb and Dumber. Oh shit. <laughs> Strange Love. I've recently watched that film. Absolutely amazing film if you've not seen it. Escape from New York. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. Falling Down. The complete series of Faulty Towers. First View of Day Off. Sorry, that particular draws a bugger to close. And the fans are going to fall. That looked great. Fight the Navigator. A Fish Called Wanda. Frighteners. The Fugitive. Oh, Four Rooms. That's that's a pretty good film. Not, not a brilliant film, but you know, I enjoyed it. It was good fun. Uh, the Fog, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the Goonies, Gremlins 1 and 2, the Harry Hill movie, I need to rewatch that because I saw it years ago and I thought it was alright, but it's probably not aged very well. Heat, sorry the man was getting away, Home Alone um, 1, 2, 3 and 4, Indiana Jones, Complete Adventures, Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence, I've only seen the first Independence Day, it was a bit shit, <laughs> if I'm totally honest with you, it was it wasn't really good, I mean, there were good things about it, but you know, it just wasn't that great. In a space, they did actually put it, that out on Blu-ray recently. Which is good because I mean, it's definitely a film that does benefit from the Blu-ray experience. Inside Out, Steam King's It, that's the mini series. Jaws, probably all time best favourite film. Jumanji, still I had to put it in this thing because unfortunately it started to. Is it the lack gotten any worse? No, I wouldn't say so. Yeah, it, it started to scuff when it was in here, so I put it in a sandwich bag to make sure to try and minimise the scuffing. It probably hasn't helped, but you know, it's worth a try. And it's still in stock, amazingly. They actually still have it. I'm assuming it's kind of like a nobody's bought it type thing. That's part trilogy. I've only seen the first one. Kingsman, Secret Service. I've not seen Golden Circle and probably won't because I've heard it's meant to be absolute crap. Labyrinth, Lethal Weapon Collection, uh, Lego Movie, The Lost Boys, the Mad Max Trilogy, Mad Max Fury Road, Mars Attacks, very very forgettable movie, not, there's good things about it but you know, to tell you the truth it's not that good, if I'm totally honest with you, I don't when I saw my original review, I thought, what the hell is he that guy talking about? It's terrible. <laughs> okay, okay, it's not too bad, you know, I mean, there's good things about it, but it's one of those times, you know, where it's just one joke, you know, that gets drawn out too long. Like, oh, look, we've got a famous celebrity. Boom, now he's dead. And, you know, quite later, oh, it's ironic to their character. And it's just like, it, that kind of joke wears off quickly and it just becomes annoying. 
Monty Python the movies. I haven't got the series. Of, I haven't got Flying Circus yet because they did put out a complete series of that, but that's um, out of print now and goes for silly money and and it's very hard to try and get every single series, which is a shame because it's like one of the biggest comedy series ever. So why why is it hard to get anyway? But I've got. But you can get the films out of easily. The best film is Holy Grail. Yeah, definitely Holy Grail. In fact, it's probably one of my old. Oh, like, it's in the top five best films, definitely. And it's like, I think it's the best comedy film as well. But that's subjective. Of me. Misery. Men in Black trilogy. I haven't seen the third one yet. Mr. Bean collection. That's. Volumes 1, 2, 3 and 4 with Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean box set with the movies and a clip show. The Naked Gun Trilogy, Never Ending Story. The Pink Pouch Collection, this one doesn't have... What one doesn't it have? Uh, Return of the Pink Panther, that was the third one I believe. It doesn't feature that. Because that was put out by a different company, so I should get that soon. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Poltergeist, Police Academy, the complete collection. Enjoy the Police Academy film, except I like, I do generally enjoy the first one. The first one's very good. The second one is alright. Third one is very good as well. Fourth one, Gil, I, I enjoy it. You know, it's not, it's like zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm just like. Why? It's not that bad, you know. There's there's far worse films which have been praised, and yet again, Police Academy 4 is like the worst film ever made. No, it's not. Police Academy 5, a bit shit. Police Academy 6, absolute garbage. Do not watch Police Academy 6. I. It tells you something when it's a comedy film, I didn't even laugh once. I suppose a kid might enjoy it, but sadly I'm not a kid anymore, so... It's just not funny, and if it doesn't, if it's not funny when you're an adult, it's failed. Police Academy 7, forgettable. Princess Bride, Rides of the Stone, Julie Nile, Red Dwarf, just the shows, that's the one for eight. Red Dwarf, just the smegs, Roadhouse, then Roadhouse 2, Hampsey and Second Roadhouse. Rollerball, another one I got in an hour video sale. It's an alright film, you act like if you're into like. You sort of like cult 70s films, this is definitely one to check out. But it's not for everybody, and it is very flawed, you know. Like, there's too much exposition, and I don't have a problem with the violence per se, but it's just it's just a bit dull, to be honest with you. It's been a one, but I mean, it's nice to have in the collection, and I got it cheap, so. Um, Rogue One, I did not like Rogue One. No, I didn't care for it. I'm not sure how something like Rogue One is considered sort of like the best of the Disney Star Wars films. In my opinion, it's the worst one. I mean, Phantom Menace is good. I, I, not not Phantom Menace. Sorry, I hate Phantom Menace. Um, <sighs> Force Awakens. Yeah, Force Awakens. Force Awakens was good. Rogue One was shit, and Last Jedi. It was okay. It wasn't anything brilliant. Uh, the Shining, that's the, this is the extended version of The Shining, absolute classic film, The Shining, if you've not seen it, absolutely brilliant horror. This is the American version, because when they originally released it here in Europe, um, Stanley Kubrick axed about 30 minutes off it, and so, and then the, I think it was 2012 when you could see it, the full version in Britain, because the BFI put out a cinema release of it. And I believe they did put out a steelbook with the American version, but that's long out of print now. But this is the HMV premium version, which, if you, if you like The Shining, this is definitely a version to pick up. And I don't think any of the cubic box sets have the... In fact, none of them have the American version on them. And so, why is that? That's a mystery. Normal. And I'm going to buy, um, and I've also got on the pipeline... The Stanley Kubrick Visionary Filmmaker Collection, which contains a majority of his films, including the European Cut of The Shining, so... Spaceballs. 
Anyway, this was some of his done complete series. Stand by me. Force Awakens. You can barely see any of those um, <sighs> titles, but I've got complete the Superman 5 film collection, which is the four Christopher Reeve films plus Superman Returns. Quentin Tarantino collection with um, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. Terminator, Terminator 2, Tron, True Lies, True Romance, The Ultimate Vacation Collection, which is um, Vacation, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, and Vegas Vacation, Watson Gromit because the Rare Rabbit, Warship Down, Westworld, that's the that's the film Westworld which came out in the 70s. Yeah. I don't think many people, particularly those who watch the TV series, they don't, they probably even have no idea there was a film of Westworld. This was written by, written and directed by Michael Crichton, who is best known for writing Jurassic Park, the novel Jurassic Park. Yeah, but he felt that this wouldn't work as a, as a book, so he turned it into a film instead. And, and it's a pretty good film, if you've not seen it. If you're into like your 70s stuff, right? Um, Wally, Wreck Around, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and the complete series of the young ones. So that's it, that is everything, and see so ya. Yeah.